want y'all to know how hard I am trying to make this lighting work. Today I have a really fun tutorial for you and also a little talk through. Um, I have this really cute shirt from Forever 21 and it matches these two little hair ties I also got. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I do like a dragon scale uh, makeup tutorial? So that's what we're doing today. Also, my hair is up. Actually, you know what? I'll take it down right now. She is really, really, really wet and a little frizzy and a little plain Jane right now. But I'm going to go ahead and put her up. Uh, and we're going to get on with the tutorial. Before I really start and get into this tutorial, I actually want to get a huge shout out to a YouTube page called DNG Explorers. I'll put their link down below. This is my uh, older cousin who has a YouTube channel about exploring and going around different places. A lot of their videos are about Disneyland, uh, Disney hotels. They have one on here about like certain places in Disney, certain like Disney parks. They go to multiple and they also have a lot in here about, they have one about Hanford. They have some just about like California. Their, their main thing is Disney, uh, but they have a few other things in there and it's a lot of fun. I'm going to Disney on Saturday and so I'm gonna like go go through all their videos and find out like everything I can I like I can about Disney so you should definitely go over there they're posting tons and tons of videos uh, and I'm super super excited to see what they come out with also on a quick note about that I have reached 31 subscribers I think so I can now also do live videos so if that's something that you want to see me do maybe I can do like a live tutorial a live review a live talk through, a live Q&A, whatever you guys want to see, I think that would be awesome to do. And on my last note, if you haven't been following my daily vlogs, it is about time you started. I am making daily vlogs. Where's my English though? I'm making daily vlogs every single day. And uh, for the past two days, I actually posted them the day after I made them but that was because I was traveling and it was Christmas and I just had so much I was doing but uh, I do post them every single day so please make sure to go and watch those go leave a like comment and subscribe to this channel now let's get on into it okay so to start off with I am priming as you can see I am very dry and very red on my eyes and also on my lips so I am actually going to go ahead and use a Palmer's Priming. Uh, I'm using their Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E, and it is for dry skin and daily moisture. So I'm just going to go ahead and take only about that much and just go in. Okay, so now that I am primed and look oily as heck, I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Ultra Smooth Foundation and my brand new beauty blender that I got for Christmas. Oh, the first time you apply foundation to a beauty blender. Oh, oh. And on the screen, it looks tan, but in real life, it's like this, like, tannish green. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it, because this is tan to me. But the blender is more of a, a green color. But I'm down with it. Something I don't like about the pink one actually is that it just, it is so vibrant and like fluorescent that you can see all the foundation that's in there and it like just grosses me out. I'm going to go ahead and put my green on actually after my foundation because I've been finding that works a little bit better. Now I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild concealer and just clean her up. Let's get on in there oh yeah all of the concealer all of it all of it all oh girl give me that bright white strobe looking okay now i'm gonna actually go in with my elf concealer as a contour because it is i mean this is my shade when i'm in the summer but right now it is so dark especially because it does oxidize it just, it, that's like my, that's my go-to natural contour color right now. Because it is quite dark on me at the moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and put her on. Yes, queen. 
So as far as skin, that's really it for now. I'm going to go ahead and adjust this lighting. Um, and then we're going to get into eyeshadows. And then we're going to do highlight and blush. Okay, guys, I fixed the lighting just a smidge just so it's not so, like, like this. Um, I know it's not the best. I picked a horrible time in the day to film this video. But we're going to go ahead and do my eyes. I also zoomed you in a little bit closer so that you can see my eyelid. So let's get on. Into so for this eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my Big Color palette and also my NYX and Urban Decay jars. So I am, let me, let me look at this little hair scrunchie here. It seems that we have a lot of purples and a lot of blues and a few greens. So what I think I want to do is lay down some greens here and then go blue and purple. And uh, let's just play with it. So I'm going ahead and taking this shimmery color right here with a really thick blending brush and I'm just going to go ahead for my inner corners and work out just a tiny, tiny little bit. And this is very pigmented so I'm being as light as I possibly can. And this look is inspired off of dragon scales, um, which I know we don't actually have dragons but you know, I can envision. And I'm just kind of pulling the shadow up more towards my eyebrows than I normally would because you want this to really stand out. There was this one look that I actually saw on MAC and they went all the way up to her eyebrows and I just, I really liked that idea and so I'm kind of playing with that just a bit. I'm just bringing a smidgen down. To my lower mash line like at the very beginning. So now I'm going to go in with a fluffier blending brush and just take my NYX and start putting her right along here to kind of soothe it into a purple and I'm actually going to go ahead and spray the brush since it is a high pigment high glitter product. And she is pigmented. Now normally for this product I would use a packer brush but the way I'm trying to blend it just wouldn't work as well with a packer brush. So I'm still going ahead and using this fluffy brush. But as you can see, of course, this product would go very, very well with a packer brush. The thing I find about packer brushes is that they're just so hard to blend with other shadows. You really have to be very good at the dab technique. And I did not feel like going through that stress today. This is also a very, very good shadow for your inner corners, and that is usually where I place it, but that is not a look we're going for today at all. I'm going in with a little tiny bit of concealer now and just cleaning up a little over here to make sure that I have enough room for our purple shade. I'm just taking a little on this brush and going over and for this uh, finish I actually do want it to kind of be blended out so I don't care very much that the product is rubbing in with the concealer normally I would normally I would go ahead and take a concealer brush and just yeet it across and let it dry but uh, today I'm actually going ahead and taking my finger and making sure that it is actually very very blended out. So now I'm actually going in with my fluffy packer brush and I'm just going to go ahead and take my Urban Decay and oh, she fell. She um this is what I have remaining. <laughs> wow I never thought I'd see the bottom of that pan. Okay um I'm going to actually crush her up a little bit just so I can still use her and then we'll get back to this. Okay, well I have what remains. Obviously I'm going to have to go and get a new one, which I don't even know where I would get another one because this one was so hard to get. It's okay. Let's go in and I'm just going to start blending her into this color right here. I'm getting into my lower lash line as well. I'm really trying to blend her right into here to get that little transfer of color. Okay guys, so this is where we're at right now. Uh, every time I move, I can see this little bit of blue going from green 
which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, these two colors mixed together just do like the perfect little illusion. So I'm going to end this by taking this in Mystical from my Profusion palette, which I talked about. Go look at that video. And I'm taking my actual packer brush, who is very dense. And I'm just almost like a like a liner. I'm just getting like the very ends right here. I'm kind of throwing it into my shadow. And I'm not going for black. I'm going for smoky. Very smoky look. And I'm bringing that out just a bit. Almost like a liner. The hardest part is always getting this side to look exactly the same. My eyes are not even. <laughs> Going in with my clean blending brush now and just making sure that all of the product is evenly distributed and that they kind of lace together. So I'm just going in with concealer and cleaning up basically any excess, any edges that fell. You can see there's a little right here that fell, which is why I really held off on the highlight and blush until the very end. I, As good as these shadows are, of course, they're nothing like Sephora shadows um, and stuff they have, like maybe say like the high brand part of Ulta, they're nothing high end and so they're always gonna have fallout but you can always clean it up. You can always clean it up. So as highlight I'm going in with this Forever 21 almost like greeny chromish shadow with a very very sparse almost like light highlighting brush and I'm just gonna pop her on top right here and she is gonna be uber white. Oh yeah she is. Ooh. Oof. Oof. Yes. More and more. I'm looking in the mirror right now and she's like uber, uber black. Now, don't think for a second that I forgot about my eyebrows. I'm going to go ahead and do the glitter brow because why not? We already have glitter on our face. We might as well put it on our brow. So I'm going to start by combing my brow hairs up and in the shape that I want them to be. And once they're pretty even, I am going to go in and darken them just a bit, just a bit, just to get a little bit of eyebrow coverage before I go ahead and put glitter on. I'm really, really trying to keep it as mellow as possible because the main thing we're focusing on is the glitter. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take my gel glitter and I'm going to start by just applying it with a fingertip and combing it on. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going ahead and applying it with my fingers. And then brushing it through with a brush. Just like that. And I don't want to go overboard on this look. I know a lot of people do like crazy full glitter. I'm really not trying to do that. I'm just trying to add some extra sparkle on there. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put on some lashes and eyeliner. And now we're going to get into blush and some highlight. So for blush, I am using my e.l.f. and blushing, and I am just kind of swooshing her on. She is a very pinky tone. I think I talked about her before, but I actually really like this color, uh, especially when it is it's so like cold outside and I don't really tan very much. She's really, really nice, and she's actually kind of buttery. Like She sits on the skin very, very well. Now she does have some gold glitter in her, but for today that is fine because we are already wearing tons of glitter. I don't think anyone will notice or anyone will care. I'm also getting 
the top of my brows as well because why not? For our highlight today, to blend in with our chrome theme, I am going to take Ella and Unicorn from my Metals palette, and I'm actually going to blend them together on my blender here. And then we're just going to set her down. Yee, squirrel, neat. Take a little bit more of Unicorn and set her up here. Remember, today is not about looking natural. Today is about glowing. Now, a lot of complaints I hear from girls is that they get this line when they do highlight. And it's just like a straight line. So what I'm going to do to fix that actually is take a blending brush or a bronzing brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and twirl. And this twirl kind of breaks up the powder. There we go, guys. We are shining, sparkling glowing. So today I'm actually going to do a black and purple lip to bring this look together. So I'm actually going to take my black lipstick, take a brush, and line out my lips. And then once my lips are lined, I can go in with my Katy Perry black lipstick from Maybelline. So now that I have a very light thin coat of black on, I'm going to go ahead and put on my NYX Cosmo Metals. And this is a very highly pigmented lip gloss. It's just, oh yeah. So now that my makeup is all done, I'm going to go ahead and put on my clothes and do my hair and show you what this look fully looks like. So I will see you soon. Hey guys, so we are actually on my phone just so you guys can get a full view of what this outfit looks like. I love this shirt to pieces. Uh, this eyeshadow look, I'm dying for as well. Um, I think maybe if I had, uh, I don't really like the, the collar on the shirt as much, but that I can easily change, that can easily be fixed. I also put my hair up because I don't really know what to do with it right now. It's very curly, but then it's also very flat up here. So I'm just kind of playing around with it. My lip gloss is popping. And let me bring you into the light for this eyeshadow. She is glorious. Like, I might, the sun is like in my eye so bad right now. But I'm loving, living for this look right now. Of course, the highlighter is popping as well, so I am super happy. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you liked this look. And tell me, what should my next look be? I've done Mermaid, Dragon, I think I've done uh, the Rainbow. I'm not sure what to do next. So please tell me what I should do, and I will see you later. I live my day as if it was the last Live my day as if there was no past Doing it all night, all summer Doing it 